What's up, Soul Squad? It's your boy Busy, and we back with another freaking car tour. <laughs> so today we're gonna be doing a car tour of my brand new 2024 Kia K5 GT line, and it's filled with power that I didn't even know a front wheel drive car had. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. You. They thought I was gonna fall off, I hate to bring you bad news Through so many racks, a bitch can't even see the flow From Atlanta to LA, the only time I'm back in Before I get into all of this car I have not read the manual and I have not did my studies on this car I'm just telling you what I know from driving it From the past two days that I've had it and this thing is beyond nice. So not only are we, are we gonna be judging the inside, we're gonna be judging the outside, we're gonna be judging how the car looks, we're gonna be judging what the car came with. And pretty much, we're just judging this car, okay? That's basically what this video is, it's a car tour. I'm gonna show y'all what it got. I'm gonna show y'all everything that this baby can do. At least I'm gonna try to without having to go on the road because it do some more stuff, some more crazy stuff on the road, <laughs> okay? So first, let's start with this grill. Now, I never had a Kia, never really wanted a Kia, but I've always seen them on the road and ever since they came out with this crazy grill, this crazy design of the grill, it stuck with me, I'm not gonna lie. From the headlights, to the body lines and everything, this car is, it's just nice. It's nice as far as the rod, with these tires, 18 inch tires. It's nice, I'm gonna open to the shut of the door. It's slick all the way to the back. You know what I mean? And this thing is just, it's nice, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I love the fact that it came with black mirrors. Black mirror covers give it like a sportier look for me. I like that it has the, um, what is it, the signal light on the side of the mirror because, I don't know, I just always wanted a signal light on the side of my mirror. My Alpha had a signal light on the side of the mirror, but every car I, I wanted to get myself, I just always wanted it to have a mirror signal light. Um, yeah, the color of this car, the wolf gray, they call this wolf gray. This is nice. All the features that happens on the outside of the car comes from this guy right here. The camera in the front. Now that thing can detect anything. This car drives by itself, stays in the lines holds the speed, declines the speed, if it's gonna hit something. Y'all, I just realized these freaking fog lights down here. Do y'all see that? The two fog lights right there? I just realized that. Oh, okay, okay. This thing is bad. A whole moon roof on top, sloped down, slick to the sunroof. I meant to the, I said the sunroof, to the spoiler on the back. When I went to go pick this car up, I didn't even know that it had a spoiler on the back. Okay? I was like, oh wow. It even comes with a spoiler. Yes, yes, yes. Gas, push and pull, push and stick. Okay? This thing, is bad on the outside. I 
Okay, I know y'all tired of the outside. Let's go ahead and look at the inside. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I forgot to show y'all. So this one also has the long, the long tail light along the back. Actually, these are your actual tail lights, but this is just a light that stays on at night. So it's kind of like a, a helpful light for people that so they won't hit you in the butt. Even though if they're not paying attention, they still gonna hit you in the butt. <laughs> um, oh yeah, another thing this car has is a lane departure. So like if another, oh God, you can't see it. So if another car comes in our lane or if we're going into another lane or if another car is riding beside us, this will blink. It will blink and let you know not to get over. Yeah, this thing is bad, bad, bad. It's bad. Let's go ahead and head to the inside. I just look at my wrist, I got time today. Fuck it, I'm crossing the line today. The hate be so real, the love be fake. Be bumping they gums and bumping my tape. Don't go against me, they ask for my help. Go get out your feelings and get it yourself. Might got the same shoes, but you ain't gonna stealth. That shit that you just put out, you could've kept. Yo, she got a nigga, he got a shirt. Why? You can't compete when you can't confirm here. She ate the dick through my underwear. Uh, got up and got herself out of there. I see they put me on memes and things. Don't speak on my life without knowing the real. They speak of the you with a cop. Okay, now that we got all that freaking plastic off, that's a lot of plastic. Either way it go, we got that plastic off. I'm sitting where I'm gonna be sitting all the time because this is the cockpit. We are in the cockpit. This is my space. All that is 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 my area right here. The cockpit. That's why they have this line right here that's it's a fine line. The line go line go from from here around all the way down to here. That lets you know do not cross this line unless I let you cross this line. Because all of this is mine, okay? But let's go ahead and and get into this car tour okay so first so first though should i show y'all the steering wheel first mm, 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 mm. so y'all tell me why i'm sitting here trying to figure out what i'm finna do and this pulls up what the freak like do y'all see this they are in full suits, big cameras, freaking Corvette. Like, what in the heck? Like, they are over here. Hold on one second. Y'all trying to shoot me one too? <laughs> so y'all trying to shoot me one too? <laughs> hey, that thing is nice though. Jeez. C8 2020 23. 23 that thing is bad bro yes. can I can, can can I show it on my camera What's that? can I show the car on my camera this yeah. your car do y'all see this what? he got the yellow Alcantara the boy what the heck Okay, enough fanboy. So, bro, in here, this thing has this, this big old freaking screen in it. And, like, this screen, I want to say it's bigger than my Alpha. I want to say it's bigger than my Alpha. Like, it literally have, like, maps. It have navigation where you can see where you want to navigate to, I guess. Uh, radio. Got your media. You can seek back and forth through it, and it has a setup button. Also, you can control it from here too, if you want it to, from these buttons. This car also drives by itself. Yeah. The gear shift is also different from my Alpha. Like, you know, the Alpha was just like a click, 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 you know, like, and then push for park. This one is literally like a slide back and slide forward type of thing 
from park reverse neutral to drive i can also slap it once i get in drive if i want to do um manual like switch it over to like manual so it can switch over to manual and to automatic if i wanted to um it also has a auto hold button so like if i'm sitting in traffic it will i can like take my foot off the brake and this will hold until i press the gas um this is my like parking emergency brake um you just pull it up if you want to um engage it and then you push it down two cup holders actually very good they do really good they do really good um i have two ports down here one for charging one for usb i'm pretty sure oh and i also have a lighter one too so i'm pretty sure like one of these i can hook it up and apple carplay will come up there that's what the guy was saying also we have heated seats here we have different drive modes so from the drive mode if i twist it this way it go from sport to custom to smart to normal um also heated seats on like the front passenger also right here this will engage phone charging like it's like a what they call it where you can like plug your phone up with like the pad or whatever so like if you have an iphone or a galaxy you can sit your phone there and it'll charge it which is very cool uh this is a dual system so like both sides they can control their temperature i can control mine if they get hot they can go cold if i get cold i can go hot uh and this car actually has a special cool looking feature like every car has this button but every car don't do what this car does so like if the car scents like a smell or if it scents like a fumey type smell that can harm you it will automatically switch to this one and it will close vents on the outside so that the smell don't come in the car which is very cool um front and rear um defrost uh of course y'all know what that button is hazard and yeah that's it for the console it actually has a pretty big console sorry about the glasses and the other paper is just a registration paper that they had in the car um until i get my tag put on um yeah the driver's side the passenger side has unlock unlock and a window button of course it didn't come with automatic so like they have to like if you can see they can pump or pump it down you know how that go or lift this up to let the seat up and down back i love this gt line stitching on the seat which is very nice very cool i mean come on guys it's a kia like Kia really did their big one as far as trying to up their game in luxury and in style and in like just all of the above they just up their game with it you know uh, it has a nice dashboard like I love the dash in this car like I look for the smaller things more so like the engine and all that stuff I look for more of the classy interior the nice you know nicely built like you don't hear it creaking or none of that if I'm pushing on it. You get what I'm saying? So that's the nice part about it. Uh, this one don't have my automatic mirroring. So I just pull this. I can flip that down and it will like make their lights dim. And I can pull this back to make their lights, you know, back up in my face or whatever. Um, on my side, I can, you know, control the mirror. Lock the doors. Lock the windows if I want to. And it, it's... It stops now. So if I put my phone there, it won't go nowhere. It's not my Alpha. It, my Alpha would have fell down and went down here. Uh, this car does have side, uh, what is that? Like side cup pockets. Not like big drink cups, but like water bottles and stuff like that. And I can store like different stuff in there. Um, right here, the steering wheel. It has GT on it. It has a flat bottom. This car can drive by itself. It can sense how far to go up on another car. Up the volume. I mean, not up the volume. Um, up the speed, down the speed, or stay. This 
is for that part of the screen up there, that screen. Um, this is to activate the cruise control. And this also is for that screen up there. Um, as y'all know, it has your typical buttons for your um, windshield and stuff like that. Um, call, well, hang up, call. Volume button, mute if you push it. This also flips through the pages on here. This mode, I'm guessing like this control, well. So, okay, yeah. So this controls the screen. So this controls the screen, this controls the screen. This is my voice activated, so if I wanna click on that, Siri will pop up, or whoever the car is with will pop up. Um, this right here is the lights, signal light, and stuff like that, just lights, you see it. So I can, also, I can do automatic where it will get bright when a car is not here it will flick up get bright flick down whenever a car comes um yeah but this car just has like a lot of nice features like look at that big map like it literally shows the map of everything um i have my two visors oh god this still has plastic on it too probably should take the plastic off of it this has the visor as well and then this controls the sunroof, of course. So, have a big moon roof. Big roof. Big roof. Nice back seat, as y'all can see. A nice, nice, nice back seat. And it's very spacious. So, if y'all see that, it's very spacious. This car didn't come with the vents for the back seat, which I hate that. But it did come with more charging ports. Let me see. Ugh. It came with more charging ports back there for the people who want to charge up their phones in the back. So, yeah, and also you can adjust right here. You can adjust your seat belt. So if it's like choking you, you can make it higher. And if it's like not choking you, you can bring it lower. I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, this thing has some cool, really, 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 really cool um, air condition looking things. Like, I like the air condition part of the car. And I can also feel the air. Like, it feels so pure, clean, and yeah, like, it gets really. You hear that? It feels like a freaking turbine. Feels like it's like a gust of wind that's just coming. <laughs> but um, yeah, so for the sunroof, I'm gonna go back to the sunroof because I didn't explain that too well. Sorry, y'all, the sun is everywhere right now. So if I pull this back, as y'all know, the whole roof will come back. If I pull this forward, it will come back. If I push it, if I push it, it just does that. And yeah, that's just how it goes. Um, uh, but yeah, that's really it for this car tour. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. So on the side, it has these like buttons that will help me while I'm driving, I guess. So I can turn off or turn on lane assistance. That's my trunk button. This is for traction control. And this is to like make my car brighter or darker. This is I can move my steering wheel up and down. So like if I pull this, my whole steering wheel can move up or down, up or down. Okay, I'm gonna put it back where I had it. Push it back in. Bingo. But yeah. Uh, for this note, this will conclude the freaking car tour. I hope I gave y'all a nice, nice, nice tour of everything in this car. Um, because this car is not like the Alpha guys. This car is a Kia. And it is very good for what it is. I'm not going to lie to you. This car is awesome for what it is. 
and it does the job it looks cool very sleek and has room so kudos Kia I like what you did there um so yeah I guess I can take this plastic off this steering wheel now I guess uh, I don't want to keep my plastic on Thank you guys for tuning in to this video of my 2024 Kia K5 GT line. And you already know, it's your boy Busy. And we out. Peace.